Senator Harris a chance to respond to the same question I asked, which is, do voters have a right to know more detailed health information about presidential candidates, and especially about presidents, especially when they're facing some kind of challenge? Absolutely, and that's why Joe Biden has been so incredibly transparent, and certainly, by contrast, um, the, the president has not, um, both in terms of health records, but also let's look at taxes. Um, we now know, because of great investigative journalism, that Donald Trump paid $750 in taxes. When I first heard about it, I, I literally said, you mean $750,000? And it was like, no, $750. We now know Donald Trump owes and is in debt for $400 million. And just so everyone is clear, when, when we say in debt, it means you owe money to somebody. And it'd be really good to know who the President of the United States, the Commander-in-Chief, owes money to, because the American people have a right to know what is influencing the President's decisions. And is he making those decisions on the best interest of the American people, of you, or self-interest? So, Susan, I'm glad you asked about transparency, because it has to be across the board. Joe has been incredibly transparent over many, many years. The one thing we all know about Joe he puts it all out there. He, he is honest. He is forthright. But Donald Trump, on the other hand, Susan. has been thank, about covering up everything. Thanks, thank you, Susan. Senator Harris. I want to give you a chance to respond, Vice President. Well, look, I, I respect the fact that Joe Biden spent 47 years in public life. I respect your public service as well. Thank you. The American people have a president who is a businessman, who's a job creator, who's paid tens of millions of dollars in taxes, payroll taxes, property taxes. He's created tens of thousands of American jobs. And the president said those public reports are not accurate. And, and the president's also released literally stacks of financial disclosures the American people can review just as the law allows. But the distinction here is that Joe Biden, 47 years in public service compared to President Donald Trump, who brought all of that experience four years ago. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you, and Vice turned President. this economy around by cutting taxes, rolling back regulation, thank you, thank you, Vice President. energy, yes. fighting for free and fair trade, and all thank, of that's thank on you, the Vice line President if Pence. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. You know, that's a 